Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about the palettes that have shadows in them that I want to either pan this year or put a really nice dent in. The first palette that I want to show you is the Jackie Ina ABH palette. This palette is so beautiful, I'm sure all of you have seen it by now. The palettes that I want to use, I'm sorry, the, the shadows that I want to use are is Edges and Wigglelease. So let me go ahead and swatch those for you. Edges and Wigglelease. Okay, so the palette that I'm going to be showing you next is the Soap X Makeup Revolution palette. And this one has two shadows that I would like to put a nice dent in or come close to panning. The shadows that I want to come close to panning are um, this cookie dough and sweet and sour. Okay, let me go ahead and swatch those for you. This is a palette that it doesn't swatch very well, but it does beautiful makeup looks. So here's cookie dough, here's sweet and sour. Next is the ColourPop So Jaded palette. The first one is Citrine. The second one is Jasper. And the third one is You're a Gem. but I want to put a nice dent in those. This palette here, I want to use up as soon as possible. I wasn't impressed with the quality of the shadows. You have to keep adding, like throughout the day, you look at it and the shadows have faded. So I don't like that, but I don't want to waste my money, so I'm going to use this up soon, God willing. Okay, so let's see. The next one that I want to show you is my own personal palette that I've added little pans to. <clears throat> and I believe I've showed you this in a video before. For those of you who are subscribed, I'm sure have seen this. But the four shadows in here that I want to at least put a nice crease in or a nice dip in are, let's see, okay. On the Rise, Super Zoom, Fire, and Baby Lights. Those are the four that I want to put a nice dip into. On the Rise, Super Zoom, Fire, and baby light. The last thing that I want to show you is another palette that I bought a while back last year. This is the Creme de la Creme Highlight. And it has four highlight shades in there. And they're really pretty. But um, because I have one that I always use on a daily basis, close to a daily basis, every time I put makeup on, I have a highlight that I always use. I neglected to pick this one up. So, I mean, beautiful packaging. Love the look of it. But only touch these to swatch. That's it. But this one is a peach, peachy type highlight. This is a creamier colored highlight. This is a deeper peach. And this has more of a pinkier, pearly tone to it. So I would like to really get into these highlights and see which ones I really like. And also just give another highlight a chance in general. 
But I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be coming back to you with more looks from these palettes. Um, let me know your comments and what you think if you're trying to pan some palettes that you purchased um, last year and I'm really trying to get the goodie out of each of them. Let me know which ones those are and I always love palette recommendations. Take care, have a blessed day, and I'll see you all on the next video, God willing. Bye-bye.